All right, down here at JP Auto, um, we are going to attempt to go small tire backside of the track racing. Never done it before. We're going to give it a shot. I'm a total noob. So if I mess this up, you know, roast me in the comments, but you got to try one of these days. So we've got the big tires on the car. We're going to lift it up and put those little guys up there on the back, 2810 fives. How will the car react? Don't know. But uh, based on my little bit of education of small tire racing i'm going to make the adjustments that i can to the car and uh, we'll just see what happens what can go wrong really i can't think of a single thing you have to get a little creative when lifting this car up because it sits so low so i gotta jack up the back end and then i have to get this one under the chassis and pick it up that way because the car sits super low and uh, i've already anticipated getting the jack stuck under the car when i put it down with the little tires on it so I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, Seve, you want to, or Silas, you want to roll this okay. over there? I want to roll it. You can both roll it. Where? Just over there and then get me the smaller one and bring it over here. I want to, I want to get more. Yeah, go around that. Okay. Just don't bump it against the car, please. You can do it. There's a bump. Alright, so bring that one over, Chevy. One eternity later. For your posies. Hi, Ryan. I don't know how to work this. Very good. Alright, guys, got these tiny little tires on here. And uh, does it look silly? Yes. Uh, is there anything I can do about that at this exact time? No. Moment of truth when i put the jack down am i going to be able to get it out past the wheelie bars my guess is probably not i'll have to get creative but uh let's try it oh it's already not looking good oh no we're on the bars nope we're gonna have to get creative Maybe set it down on some pieces of wood or something like that to get the jack out. All right, gonna do some general maintenance before this race, gonna run the valves. Uh, haven't checked my valve lash in a good while, so I'm gonna check that. There's the compressor. All right, let me give you a little update before I go to time lapse of me uh, wearing myself out doing this. We do have a little button to push to run the valves and turn the motor over. However, comma, the two uh, little bolts on the starter are so close together, they're always touching each other, and then the motor just wants to run away. It scares me every time. So I always just do it the Rocky Balboa way and uh, just do the old ratchet on the crank. Takes a lot longer, burn a lot more calories, but it is what it is. That's just the way I do things. But here's what our little tires look like on the Vega. They sit in really far, like real far. Um, I'd say that's a good five inches, four and a half, five inches inside the wheel well. Everything will be fine. Like I said, what can go wrong? But it doesn't look too bad. Um, we do need to get some better wheels for the situation, but I don't have the cash, okay? So we're gonna use these old VMS Racing. I know you see them around, they're all over the place. But back to valves, here's a time lapse. I mentioned this thing has like really high compression like 15 to 1 or something compression so i'm getting good workout in at least i'm sweating it's warm
right guys kind of a short video today we do have the willy bars picked way up i'm not certain whether there's a rule against willy bars uh but i don't really feel like taking them off so if you've watched our past videos you know this car really likes the wheelie so they have to go back on but um don't really want to take those off so i'm gonna leave them on they're pinned way up uh, i didn't see anything in the rules at first glance about it so hopefully we're good um car's ready we ran the valves everything's good there uh, we got the little tires and wheels on them they sit way in it's kind of goofy it is what it is in case you guys didn't know the barn Fine 5000 is a race that we are hosting here at mountain state utv the race is at 52 dragway in fort gay west virginia i'll throw up the address this is a race where you find a car that's in the weeds a barn whatever it may be you get it running do as minimal as possible to it to get it driving down the road and then we race them down the track i have pearl 1980 cutlass out there came out of the junkyard and then i have another 1977 buick station wagon it's awesome it's huge and brown and i believe we're going to call it root beer so both of those cars are ready for the race we got all kinds of other cars i might throw some pictures up here of people that are showing up so really excited about that and we need you guys to show up and support it so be there july 29th rain's in the forecast tomorrow but we're going to prep as if it's not uh hopefully it doesn't rain because i really want to get this done i want to get on small tires and no prep and the want to get this started so thank you guys so much for watching sorry for the short video but uh we'll see you guys soon what's up guys i feel like this video is too short so here's a bonus clip of a video of me taking my mom in my race car as a passenger in case you haven't seen that video here's a clip of it if you like the clip go back and watch the old video i think it's titled i took my mom and my wife in my five second drag car or something like that but here you go and then there's some bonus clips after all the bonuses there you go